Hi, today I am going to be talking about shutter speeds and how they affect your video footage and how they correspond with different frame rates. Today I'm going to be filming John Goman and he's going to do a couple tricks over and over for us and it's going to kind of show how the different shutter speeds and frame rates affect the footage. First I'll show you how a, a high shutter speed and a low shutter speed can affect the footage and especially in progressive footage this can greatly affect how the final video looks. It can either make your footage jumpy and stuttery or really blurry, but generally with progressive footage you want to have a little bit of motion blur to help blend the frames. It's a lot different than interlaced footage where you have odd and even fields that uh, help blend your footage together and you're able to shoot at frame rates up to like 1 1,000th one or 1 2,000th, whatever you want to film at, where with progressive footage you need to film at lower shutter speeds so you get a little bit of motion blur that helps blend your footage. Each frame is an individual photo pretty much and if you don't have a little bit of motion blur then you're gonna have kind of a, a jumpy look to your footage. It's like gnarly windy. All right. So when you choose your shutter speed you generally choose it based on what frame rate you're shooting at and for this example I'm gonna be filming at 30 frames per second and ideally I film in a, a sunny environment like today, I'd film at 1 1 25th of a second. What this does is it introduces a little bit of motion blur, but it's not too much or not too little, and it helps smooth the final video and gives it a nice clean look. For this example, I turn the shutter up to 1 1,000th of a second. When you freeze the image, you can see it's a really sharp image, but when you play back the video, the video looks a little choppy and not as fluid. Yeah, one more. In contrast for this example, I filmed at 1 60th of a second, and as you can see, the footage begins to look a little blurry. I usually like to find a balance between these two where I can still make the footage look sharp, but it still looks natural to the eye. When shooting action and skating, a lot of people like to shoot at 60 frames per second because this gives the option for slow motion later. I generally like to bump my shutter speed up a little bit to about 1 250th or 1 500th of a second because this creates a sharper image and looks a lot better for slow motion. In the next example, I filmed this at 60 frames per second at a shutter of 1 60th. And as you can see, the footage looks a little bit too blurry and it isn't quite sharp enough. So ideally, I would shoot it at 1 500th of a second and this way you get a way cleaner image and it's a lot sharper. All right, Russ. The other frame rate you might see out there is 24 frames per second and this is generally better for portraits and lifestyle type of shots and it creates a more cinematic type of look and generally you want to shoot at a, a shutter of around 1 50th or 1 60th because you want the, the footage to play back really fluid and at this frame rate it can look a lot choppier a lot easier because there are less frames. So hopefully that gave you a little insight into the effects of shutter speed. There is no right or wrong. Um, it all depends on what your final look is going to be. So get out there, have some fun, and be creative, and see what you come up with. Is that all right? I kind of, I kind of stuttered a little bit, but oh, I feel so bad for you editing this footage later. <laughs>